Hello everybody. Welcome to Tech Guruji YouTube channel. So in this video, we'll be covering up how to design a ramen. So I'll be starting uh, with the basic hello world uh, ramen. So in this video, we'll be just seeing how to create a sample ramen file and we'll be importing that into the anypoint studio in the next video so let's get started so to create a ramen so there is a easy way to create uh, it's kind of a kind of a studio which uh, anypoint platform provides and to that we need to sign up to the anypoint platform and now once we sign up we need to navigate through design center and then we need to select an option to create so what we are going to do is in this tutorial as i already mentioned we'll be creating an api specification or a raml file so i'm just going with create api specification i'm just going to give a example as hello hello world And so there are two options. Uh, we can have a code editor or a visual editor. And the language is going to be 1.0. Interestingly, uh, AnyPoint platform, uh, MuleSoft has added two more options as OAS, which is nothing but a Swagger API definitions for JSON and YAML. And RAML 1.0 is the latest version for the RAML. So in this tutorial, we'll be going with RAML 1.0 and we are going to use Design Center. I'm going to just click on Create Specification. So once we do that, it opens an API designer where it will just generate you a placeholder where you can, with your title. And so here, this is the uh, designer studio which helps you to write your ramal files it gives lot of uh, recommendations as well as per uh, wherever you are doing and this is a mocking up service if required we can turn it off so that each time when you type it provides a documentation and it will be really helpful for us so as of now i'm just turning off this so to start the application to start designing the ramal so as i earlier mentioned so we are going to do a, a hello world applica application so for that up a restful application for the trust application so we are going to create a ramal file so as there is a title you can add a description so about this api so this is going to be like I'm just going just give I'm going to give a description. This is a hello world API specific API specification. Yeah. So next part uh, we'll be defining uh, the resource as it's a web service we need to define a resource for that so i'm just going to define it as a hello world so that is going to be the if you can see in the right hand side documentation so this is going to be our one of the end point and what method i'm going to add is going it's going to be a get method so so whenever we consume the service it, it is going to return a hello world message back in a json format so the next step will be uh, what kind of response it is going to give so as i earlier mentioned response for http successful response i'm going to give it as 200 as most of you guys will be aware of that and what is the body response body so here the response body which i'm going to define is it is going to be 
uh, application bot json is the media type as i earlier mentioned so if we can see when you start typing it gives you a lot of uh, recommendations and options and it, it helps you a lot from typing it. so here what i'm going to do is there are two things which we can do so we can give an example directly or we can define a schema for that response message so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to define a schema for this response message first and then going to give an example so define a schema we call it as type so here what i'm going to give is the uh, the response message schema so here so as per the json it is going to be title and this is going to be a hello world response and type is going to be an object and next comes the properties and now I'm going to type the message and the message of going to be of type type string everything in a small case so what i'm going to do is close all the check whether all the parentheses has been closed and so next thing is i'm going to give an example the example is going to be the response message yeah, or we call it as we can call it as an sample it's going to be message and this is how my output response is going to look like so we have few errors so the first normal mistake which we make is we need to have a space between these things and so one more thing is in the latest version of uh, Raman this title is not supported in the JSON format so it is recommended to remove it and the below the type when you open a parenthesis there should be a tab and it applicable it applies this example has to be straightforward matching to that type as well so when you move the parentheses little bit forward then you get no error so here our hello world example is raml spec is ready so what you can do here is there are two options one is directly publish this to exchange any point exchange so which will be covered in the next video and the another option is to export this file and import into any point exchange okay so what we are going to do here is we'll be create we'll be exporting this raml file and we'll be importing this to our any point studio in the upcoming video so thanks for watching see you in the next video cheers bye